that check. I don't need your money, you can hold that check. Had a crib, it's a polo sweats. I don't need a hold what is up guys it's incognito v here with this roblox clothes making tutorial here today and i'll also be uh sharing with you guys an imager album link in the description uh where i'll hand out some templates and other things like that uh so you can start get started on making clothes i'll also be teaching you how to make like original clothing and stuff like that but uh templates can be a big like helpful thing to have um like on uh, most of my clothes I use this uh, shading template which um, if you're like already into the clothing industry a little bit you'll probably notice that you recognize this shading template but just a little bit because it's um, it's one of the more popular ones I think it's like called null out or something like that I don't really know what it's called exactly but um, I added it, uh, the transparency I added some other shading uh, things under it which really makes the final product uh, come out a lot better in my opinion personally um i'll be sharing with you guys today like this varsity jacket template uh some jersey templates and uh, you know just fun stuff like that that'll help you get into the clothing industry i'll also be sharing with you guys uh some secrets as to how to get uh you, you know the first couple sales onto your first on your shirts and stuff uh, especially if you've got a bunch of robux saved up uh that'll help a lot um so yeah let's get to it the thing you'll need is paint.net of course I have version 4.0.6 um, I also have a plugin I can't remember the name of it now but I will have the link in the description of this video if you don't already have it um, I definitely recommend uh, for clothes anyways like if you're making logos like for groups and stuff like that I recommend uh, you know Photoshop if you can get that but for clothes at least I definitely recommend paint.net I think it's the most user-friendly uh, graphics thing um, maybe not out there but like for what you need for like making clothes and stuff like that on Roblox I think it's definitely the way to go um, so yeah let's get into that so for this video I've decided to use a pattern sweatshirt template that I've made um, I pulled an image off of Google Images like a I searched like classic wallpaper I think and uh, I think it'll look really cool uh, with the sweatshirt so let's get started with that um, so the first thing you have to obviously copy the uh, image and uh, bring that into paint.net and uh, just layer it here um, as you will see in a second this doesn't look very good does it like obviously oh, I'm gonna have to get rid of the pink thing um, where the like uh, neck hole is but um, you'll see why I need that in a minute um, but right now it doesn't look that good right so the first thing we're gonna do uh, for this anyways and I'm gonna make this black and white which um, made a little bit better but still not that good um, you know I think it should probably be a little bit darker um, so to make it darker what we're gonna do is we're going to uh, select this top half like all of this um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slightly transparent layer of black and just see what happens. Um, and I'd say now that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so I think I'm going to go with that. Um, looks pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm going to combine these two layers down here. Uh, the layer that had the original image and the layer that I... Um, put the transparency on and the next thing I'm gonna do is come here to where this pink thing is I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna come down to this layer here and hit uh, the delete key which will make things uh, transparent and um, now there's if you can see and the bottom right here actually I'll make this appear transparent for you for a second um, I have not put the neck hole in so really all I need to do now delete this layer 8 uh, which has the, the pink thing on it and it looks pretty much like a finished product so you could upload this as is or if you want to add like a logo onto it uh, you would just go to this layer right here you would add a layer here and put whatever you want on it if you want to add text or a logo or something like that um, so that's how you what I would do with the specific template um, so yeah now I'm going to show you how to uh, get your clothes out there, you know, um, make them known, and uh, get, them, get them on a relevancy. Um, you could run ads, which ads are good, but uh, 
you know, if you don't want to go that route, you know, you don't, um, you're not good at, like, graphics, like, ad editing, stuff like that, or, uh, you don't want to spend that much Robux and stuff like that, uh, you know, to get them out there enough to where it would actually help your shirt, um, then what I would do is, you know, I don't have a BC right now, so I can't show you as well as I should be able to, but you can go to configure your shirt, uh, sorry, man, that's kind of slow, but to configure your shirt, you, um, Put it on sale for Robux. Um, I'm not going to be able to because I don't have BC. But uh, you put it on sale for Robux. You say, like, uh, however many Robux you have. Like, say you've got 2K. Put it up for, like, I don't know, 1,500. And then you come down here. Uh, you go to back. Um, and then you come down here to this. Um, thing right here then what you want to do is you want to delete it from your stuff but save the link when you do this um then after you delete it from your stuff what you're going to do is you're going to come back to this link and then you're going to buy it and then when you know um the relevancy page is based off of how much um how many how much profit you make on the um uh, shirt so you know uh 1000 robux 1500 robux whatever that's a fair amount of profits that'll get you up on the first page of relevancy easily um so, that, I mean, you know, that much Robux, so you, um, you know, get you on relevancy fast. Other people will start seeing it. You'll get, be getting a bunch of buys. I will say it does take 30% of, uh, like, Roblox takes 30% of your Robux when you do this. But I'd say it's still probably a cheaper alternative um, to advertising. And if not as effective, I'd say it's more effective, really. Um, I did do that on this shirt for, like, 1, maybe 2K. I got um, 100 sales, so I mean, I'd say it's definitely effective if um, you do it right, you do it with enough Robux, I think it's definitely effective. Um, so yeah, now on to the pants. I've already shown you how to make a uh, shirt, uh, well a hoodie I guess. Um, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to make pants, uh, specifically like some cargo shorts with uh, some Nike shoes. Um, if you can see here on the belt loop, it has uh, LD, my uh, sports, or my uh, clothing group rather was called lockdown sports clothing so that's why i had the ld for lockdown and um yeah so for this one as you see like it's already pretty much a finished product i just pulled up my um template uh and really you can what i normally do like to make um different variations of this is i'll just select the belt go in here change the color there uh using the wand tool and then uh, going to the cover color wheel up here, selecting a color, and hitting backspace to change the color. Um, and for this, I uh, for the shoes, sorry, I would um, come down here. And it's hard with the white. I think I'll upload a different uh, color variation for the template uh, on Imager. For the white, it's hard because of the socks. But you would basically hit um, click with the wand, and then while holding, um, I, yeah, while holding. Press shift, release, and it'll select everything of that color. Uh, same with the brown. Uh, do that, change the color, then you've got yourself a nice pair of shoes and uh, pants to go with your hoodie or whatever shirt you decide to make. Um, really, I think you should, you know, go and make your own templates, but I think to get started in the clothing industry, I think... Uh, it's always nice to have something to look off of, to compare your, your stuff to. Like, I had a friend of mine that had ma started making clothes before I did, and um, without him, I don't know if I would have even learned how to start, uh, like, shading and stuff like that, because, you know, it was really helpful to have someone else to talk to and be able to, uh, you know, uh, figure things out from, you know, pick ideas off of. Um, it's definitely very important. So, uh, for those of you that don't have someone like that, um, now you have this, these templates, and stuff like that that hopefully you can take ideas from. And, um, yeah, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post in the comments, um, or message me, or stuff like that. Um, and if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, if you have any ideas for future videos, or, um, how, ideas as how to, I could make my videos better, um, that would be much appreciated. This is a new channel, um hoping to make this pretty big for you guys, and, uh, yeah, that's it, see you later, peace.